What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video we are doing a highly requested one and that is going to be an in-depth update of my Tanavi couch from Ashley Furniture Home Store. I have had this couch in February a year so it's been a little bit over a year and I am going to go over all of the most frequently asked questions as well as details and my personal honest thoughts of this couch. This video nor this couch have either been sponsored or endorsed by Ashley Furniture Home Store. These are my honest feelings as I purchased this couch with my own money. So if you are interested in seeing my honest thoughts and review of this couch then just keep watching. All right, you guys, before we get into the video, I am going to do my monthly installment of my Dossier perfumes. And this month I am so excited because it is always such a nice surprise to be able to open these up and see what I have for the month. This is going to be aromatic pineapple, as you can see here. This is going to be Notes of Ginger Pineapple, and it is inspired by YSL's Y. So if that's something that you have worn or used before, then this would definitely be an option for you. So this is how they come packaged. I absolutely love and always talk about how much I love the packaging. It's always very sleek, simple, and beautiful, and of course, very high-end looking with that nice magnetic closure on the cap. So let's see how the aromatic pineapple smells. Ooh. Ooh, this is really nice. This reminds me if you are familiar with the Aqua de Gio from Giorgio Armani in the male version. This reminds me of what a female version would smell like. It's very nice. It has a nice light scent. I definitely am sensing the pineapple. I think this would be a great perfume and it also has a little bit of sweetness to it so if that is something you are into as well then definitely try this one out i'm really liking the way that this smells and i think this would be a nice evening perfume for the summer nights so let's see what our next perfume is going to be this one is floral honeysuckle floral honeysuckle has notes of green leaves orange and honeysuckle and is inspired by gucci bloom so if that is something you have worn before in the past then you definitely will love this let's check out the way floral honeysuckle smells this is really nice as well definitely different from the one that i just smelled this one's going to be a lot heavier and definitely more of that floral note. I would say overall this one is a little bit stronger as well. I tend to go for the lighter ones, so I will probably be sticking with the pineapple. But if this is something that you've worn in the past, again, the Gucci Bloom, then this one is definitely going to be for you. And again, this is what the packaging looks like, really nice and sleek. And I, of course, as always, will leave all of the information about Dossier and their perfumes in the description box down below. If you have any, let me know which one you guys have i'm always up to find a new one to try and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video all right you guys we are doing the most requested video and that is an update on the tanavi couch from ashley furniture and i have had this couch for a little over a year almost a year and a half now and i wanted to give you the good the bad and the ugly updates so we are going to first start off with what exactly this is this is the tanavi couch from ashley furniture it is sold as sets online as well as individual pieces inside the store. So what I have are two corner pieces, as you can see, one here and one here. I have two individual side pieces that I put in the middle here, and then I have two ottomans that are on the ends here. So this formation is really long. It's right under 200 inches, if you are curious about the length, and I can leave all of the exact dimensions in the description description box down below. So if you have a really large open floor plan like we do, then this size will definitely work for you. Again, they do have some predetermined sets online. If you are interested in seeing those, I will link the website for you and some of the options um, in the description box down below. But this set in specific was done in store because I got each piece individually to create this customized look. Now, as far as the color of this, I love it because of the color is a really nice neutral beige bone color. There is more beige than gray in it. It is not white. 
It is light, but not white. So I have a couple of throws here on the couch that will kind of show you a little bit of that color. This one is a taupey color, which has got a little bit of gray in it. And then this one is very, very warm in color tone. So as you can see, it's not as gray as this throw, but it's not as beige as this throw. It does have a really nice kind of thread of color throughout with a little bit of white, as you can see here, and then a little bit of that beige to kind of create this color which really is beautiful. It does come with these little side pillows and then the back pillows, which can be taken off and unzipped if you wish, as well as this cushion on the ottoman that is Velcroed underneath for it to stay in place. Now, as far as some of the questions that I've had about the upkeep and about the update on this couch is, does it move? I have not had any issues with it moving. I have seen some things that you can purchase after the fact to connect them together to make them more stable. But underneath, it does have feet. They are definitely really inset underneath there and they're very small and shallow. But as far as moving, to me, it does not move easily. The other question that I've had is in regards to the cushions, have they flattened out, any of that sort of thing. I will show you, they have a little bit of a dip in them from sitting, but I do flip them and I do fluff them. They do have a layer of almost that, if you can hear it, goose down type feather on top of the foam. So it gives it a little bit of softness, but they're not too stiff and they're not too mushy, if that makes sense. To me, it really is right down the middle. So after this amount of time, in my opinion, if you're looking at the cushions, I don't see really any issues as far as them dipping into being too squishy and I don't think that they're super, super structured. So again, that really is personal preference and what it is that you're going for as far as the look goes. The sides of it are pretty structured and a little bit more on the modern side. The back of it does dip down low and has a very clean, simple line. So if again, that's something you're looking for, then I would definitely look into getting this couch. This, by the way, is one of my favorite consoles from Home Goods. It is still available in case you're looking for something like this behind the couch as well. So as you can see, if you wanted to separate the pieces to clean, you could do that. And then you can just push them back together. I haven't had any issues again with them separating. Now moving on to the next most requested question, that would be the pilling. I'm gonna say two things about that. Number one, it's a couch. It's going to happen, whether it's the fabric changing texture or pilling happening. I mean, it is a couch, so things are going to change with time. I think that that just kind of, in my opinion, goes without being said, but apparently that's a shock to some people. And number two, to me, it isn't anything that cannot be remedied. The things that I have done to remedy this are two things. I use all the time this basket of throw blankets. I leave this beside the couch. Anytime we use the couch, I grab a blanket. I kind of throw it over and then that's what we lay on and that really does help to protect the couch from any sort of spills, stains, and of course damage as far as pilling. Now I will get up close and show you an up close look at what it looks like. Right now, I don't have any pilling. Again, if there was anything, I have been using those throw blankets a lot. But if in the case that there are any, which if I lift up the cushion, you can see here there is a little bit on the edge, then I like to take my pilling machine from Amazon, which I will also link below for you. I just simply go over it and it smooths everything out perfectly fine as you can see here and I don't have any issues. So if that is a problem for you, I wouldn't say it's recommended. I'm just gonna say that's what I do and it works. The other question that I receive a lot is about washing them. I have not washed these cushions yet, again, because we don't have children, we don't have pets, and I do use those throw blankets a lot, so I really haven't had a need to. I don't know if you can. My recommendation, if you do want to use this as a tester, is unzip this cover and wash this first and see what happens, because it's better that you do it with this and potentially ruin that than <laughs> to do it with an entire cushion. So again, I'm not going to say yes or no because I haven't done it. I would assume you can, but just in case to be safe, I would recommend using that pillowcase first before taking off and potentially ruining one of the cushions. 
My other question I've gotten is in regards to the carpets and the coffee tables. This carpet is from Amazon, I can link for you. This carpet is from Target, I can link for you. And this is from Ashley Furniture, but it's super old, so I don't believe that they have anything similar that I can link for you, but I will see if I can find something potentially from another company that I could link for you. This piece is from West Elm, and then I made everything inside of it, and I'm happy to link that for you as well. As far as all of my throw pillows and throw blankets, they are all from Home Goods, aside from this one that is from Target, that I am happy to link for you that I love because it's a really nice tone of beige and I just stuck a goose down insert to have a nice choppable pillow. Overall, I would definitely say that I would repurchase this couch. I love it. I have not had any problems with it. This is not sponsored by Ashley Furniture whatsoever. I think that they should sponsor me because I feel like I have really given my true and honest opinion and helped a lot of people with questions about this couch, but that's a conversation for another day. But I would recommend this couch. I think it's beautiful. I think that there are a ton of options out there, not only from Ashley Furniture, but other companies as well. So if this does not suit your needs, then I definitely would continue looking because there are other options out there. But for me, the real selling point was the simple sleekness of this. It wasn't too smushy and soft, and it wasn't too structured, and I loved the colorway of this. Some of the other ones that I looked at and found were almost a literal shade off of white, and I didn't want a white couch. I wanted something that was going to be neutral, and I wanted something that was going to be light, but I did not want a white couch. So that, to me, is a really big pivotal selling point of this couch. And again, I love the customization, the fact that you can get it in any shape that you want because each piece can be ordered individually if you go in store. I also am sure that especially with um, all of the holidays coming up, there are going to be sales that go on and off. So definitely keep your eye peeled, definitely go into the store and speak to the sales representatives and let me know if there are any other questions that I can answer. I'm happy to answer them in the comments down below. I'm also gonna go over a couple of questions that I got from you guys after doing a poll on Instagram regarding questions for the couch. So the first question that I got is what size is the fan? And I believe this is the fan that they're talking about. It's the same exact one that we have in the master bedroom. And it is an 84 inch fan from Home Depot. I am happy to link it in the description box down below. It's amazing, beautiful, and simple. And I feel like really goes well with the theme. It's not too modern because it's just down the middle as far as style, as well as being sleek. So no matter what decor you have or what style you have, I feel like it's a really nice, simple staple to have in the home that will match any decor aesthetic. I also love it with tray ceilings. I feel like it blends really well because when you have the tray ceilings, I feel like you do need something a little bit more wide to kind of fill in that space. The next question is, is the couch so comfortable? To me, yes, it is super comfortable. I've had a couple people also ask about the comfort in regards to the sound that the couch makes due to the down like feathers that are inside. So I'm gonna sit on it so you can hear to me, it sounds regular and normal. Some people say, it, oh my gosh, it's so loud, it sounds crunchy, but not to me. It just sounds like a couch. The next question is a close-up or pictures of the pilling, which I already discussed with you guys earlier. And does, the next question was, does it pill? Because hers does. Again, I showed that little close-up earlier of the spot that I could find, and I'll show you another close-up here of a little bit in between as you can see right here and right here and unfortunately like i mentioned if you do there's a couple pieces right there too so if you do have the pilling i would definitely recommend using some throw blankets on it as well as getting that pilling machine just so that if you don't want to put the throw blankets down or you still have a little bit of pilling, you can just smooth it out with that pilling machine and be good to go. The next question is, can you link your pillows? I would love to, but unfortunately, like I mentioned before, they are from Home Goods. but I will link this one right here that is from Target, and I will see if I can find some similar to these to link from the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods websites. The next question was, how is your couch holding up? Any pilling? Again, went over this earlier. The next question, do you have any pets? We have the Tanavi and pets. So curious to see your experience. Unfortunately, I do not have children or pets. 
so I cannot speak from that experience. If you do or are thinking about getting it but do have pets or children, I totally understand your hesitation because of color as well as the fact that it is a little bit more sensitive in regards to the pilling, even though, like I mentioned earlier, any couch you get is going to have something. But I do understand your hesitation. With that being said, for spilling, I'm definitely going to link my Folex. I've had that for a couple of stains and spills that we've had, and it works amazing on clothing. This fabric, the carpet, literally I've used it on everything and it's awesome. As far as hesitation, maybe for kids, since it is sensitive to pilling, if you feel like that will bother you, then maybe look at an alternative that doesn't have the same constructed fabric. Maybe something that's a little bit more durable and as far as fabric goes, like a velour, something that's a little bit tighter knit. I'll see if I can find some other similar ones that I can link in the description box if that is your hesitation. The next question was a repeat. Does yours pill? How badly does the fabric pill? I do still think the couch is worth it, even though it does have a little bit of pilling. And then the other question is, I got the same one and I love it, so do my guests. So happy to hear that. Is it good for family with pets? We answer that question. The next question is the color of your walls in the family room. So my entire house is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. I will give you a little bit of a close-up of the color. This color is amazing, but I will say that it's going to look different in every single person's home. It does pull a little bit of a gray taupey color throughout the home, as you can see here, but I still love it. it is a really nice neutral color it definitely has no warmth to it it is definitely more of a I don't want to say full cool tone but more of a cool tone gray color if you are looking for something super neutral to do throughout your entire house then I would definitely recommend this or city loft both of those are really beautiful in terms of all white if you wanted something lighter than this because this does have a little bit of that like i said taupey color to it then i would go with alabaster that is a really nice kind of white sheer white color and the last question is a repeat which is the pillow link specifically the black white and cream one so i'll definitely see if i can dig through and find some similar ones for you i have a ton of pillows i actually have a closet full of just extra pillows because i love switching them out all the time and in case i didn't mention it before these pillows are also from home goods i actually ended up getting them on clearance they are an amazing fabric they they were a little bit more expensive but I waited for them to go on sale and they really are an amazing find they are from house of Cindy I don't know why the tie is still on they were originally 79 and I ended up getting them for I think 20 or 30 somewhere in there so definitely make sure even if your home goods does have more expensive pillows you wait for them to go on clearance because eventually they will so i hope that that answered all of your questions and i hope that this helps you if you are looking for a couch or a cloud couch dupe because the tanavi couch really is amazing all right you guys that is going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as always i will leave everything linked in the description box down below please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.